It's another wonderful gray day in Seattle. In the middle of summer. I'll take it. Uh, if only it wasn't going to be going away in another couple of days. Rocket, that is not your water. That's standing water. On the deck. Don't ask me how that happened. I mean, it's, it's rainwater, so it should be clean. But let's not lick it anyway. I, I don't know where this deck has been, or what's been on this deck, by and large. We're on the deck, but I'm, I'm saying that there are certainly times that I'm sure there are things that are on the... I'm just going to enjoy the, the weather. What does your tail think about the weather? Cyber trucks and smart homes. <laughs> oh, man. People actually drive these things in public. They, they paid money for them, I guess. Yeah, well, to each their own. I'm reminded of vintage DOS video games. Remember the way that cars used to look? All boxy and angular? Yeah, well, everything was inspired by something else. The eSun sent me some new filament, including rainbow silks and standard white, black, and gray, which I could use. <laughs> now the question is, what am I going to print next? A Technicolor monster would be technically cool. Weird Al Yankovic released a new song, Pokemania? I think that's what it's titled. I've listened to it a few times. Jedi knew more of the songs on the polka than I did, but that doesn't surprise me. She's far more hip than I could ever hope to be, at least from this point forward, if not backward. Al's not going to be, and yeah, I'm on a first name basis, Mr. Yankovic. He's not going to be releasing any albums, traditional albums, which is disappointing, but it's also the sign of the times. So I'm, I'm sad. It's bittersweet. I'm happy to have a new track, but I want more. I loved the release of new albums. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you got till it's gone? But I did know what I had, and I looked forward to it. Uh, come on, Al. Produce more! Oh, man. Since the seventh grade, I've been listening to Weird Al. Seventh grade. I'll never forget staying at a friend's place in a, a distant town in Iowa for the week, and he played in 3D and Dare to be Stupid. And I dubbed most of the songs over to the only 90-minute cassette tape that I had. Ran out of space. Can't really collect a digital anything. It is always so disappointing to find a model that you think is going to be fun, only to realize when you wake up that it failed. Aww. Man, those wings would have been so cool. <laughs> We've got to keep her on the leash when we sit out on the deck because otherwise she finds the hole down there that we have to find too. So we could patch it. She ran away once. What are you doing? <laughs> speak. 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 Where do I put the shoes? Is this your new thing? Yes. Are you going to be like carrying that microphone around wherever you go here? Exactly. Okay, where's the jumpy thing? <laughs> you had the hand jumpy thing? You were showing me last night, you were like, you saw it on a YouTube short. Remember the six pounds of jalapenos that I got in that big can a month or two ago for a penny total? Finally down to the last half cup or so. You hear that sound? You see this fry? Do you know what today is? It's not Wednesday. Not Whopper Wednesday yet. It's a special Whopper Tuesday. <laughs> I got a, a coupon that would give me 
a free Impossible Whopper if I bought like $3 worth of something. So I got the combination fry and onion ring. Mmm. Well, hopefully more than one onion ring. So <clears throat> I'm enjoying a special treat early this week. And I'm also going to be enjoying another treat today. Oh, two treats really. A large popcorn and Wolverine and Deadpool. Or is it Deadpool and Wolverine? I'm I'm not sure. But I'm going with a friend. And it's a discount day. So I got the tickets for both of us with a coupon code that saved me ten dollars. So that was more than half off. And then, since it's discount day, the large popcorn with a free refill will only be $5. So, for two people going to a new movie today with snack, it'll be a total of $15. Which is impressive. Very impressive. Hell, even twice that would probably be impressive. But, dude, saved so much money today. I deserve this burger. <laughs> saving money is cool saving money is cool what are you looking at you never sang in the car before while eating your impossible whopper that only cost you three dollars well a little over three dollars after tax because i had to pay like closer to 375 for the fries and oh she's gone that was almost embarrassing best Part of going to the movies is coming home with a bucket of popcorn. Having Rocket has made me a better person. I approach things in a slightly more calm fashion now. So when she starts getting agitated outside when we're going for a walk, I'll say, leave it. And I have to say it calmly because she's going to mirror my energy. And she usually does, for the most part. There are times that she's overly excited, but then again, that happens to the best of us. Either way, by approaching calmly those tense situations, or what would otherwise be tense situations, helps. And so I've been able to translate that to other parts of my life as well. Dude, I plowed through half this bag today. Didn't open it until this morning, and I, I couldn't stop. Oh man, it is so good. Mmm. I dare you to try some and tell me you don't like it. Even if you hate mushrooms. If you love beef jerky, oh. You're going to adore this. No, Rocket, I didn't save any for you. I knew that was going to happen, which is why I waited a few days before opening it. And it looks like I'll be enjoying it for another hour. Oh, <laughs> man, you know how long it's been since I had beef jerky? Uh, seven years, at least. Ish. Well, well, well. It's officially Wednesday now. <laughs> it's my second Whopper of the week. Hot, hot. Fresh off the grill. Dang, dude. Woo. Steaming bun. Woo. Dang, dude. I can't even hold on to it. So hot. Ha. Ha. Hang on. Hang on. You got to see the steam. Look at that steam. Can you see the steam? Can you see it? Okay. I was going too soon. I probably should not be recording my thoughts right now because I've, I've had a, a cup of wine, which is probably... All the more reason why I should be sharing my thoughts right now. Uninhibited. Oh, thanks for that. That's just not the chaser I was expecting. <sighs> anyway, I wanted to say, for the record, that I first don't talk about politics all that often. Certainly not without caveats. Politics are personal. But I also wanted to state, unequivocally, I really don't appreciate the label weird having been co-opted, as in being used to cast aspersions in the political sphere. I don't like it at all. I remember... Clearly, uh, in the eighth grade, being told by a girl after having uh, 
heard me sing part of the uh, the polka from Weird Al Yankovic's Polka Party album, uh, specifically the uh, Peter Gabriel uh, uh, sledgehammer part of the song, she looked at me and said, you're weird. And as a prepubescent, if not mid-pubescent boy, um, I know the intent of her having used that label in that context. It wasn't a compliment. Um, I kind of felt like I, I was okay being normal. It was normal to be quote unquote weird. Rocket, I know you don't understand this. It's okay. It's not for you to understand. It's just for humans. So I, 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 I kind of adopted that because I was being called that. And it fit because I didn't. Let me say that again. It fit because I didn't. And put yourself, if you can't understand that, put yourself back mentally where you might have been or where the average person, male or female, might have been in those years, those formative years with peer pressure and societal norms, expectations, being a teenager. You want to fit in. You want to belong. And, and when you ostensibly don't and find it so difficult, you, you can't. You can't even fathom because it's just not something that you're comfortable with. That's where I was, and in many ways have continued to be, not to say that I'm in a state of arrested development, I'm very much an adult, thank you very much, a adult, and proud of it. I don't need anybody else to tell me who I am, what I like, or whether or not I need to seek someone else's approval. So, my response to this girl, after having been called weird, she said, you're weird. I maybe gave it a beat, but I remember responding real quick with, thank you. And I owned it. So, I was okay with me. I was okay with myself. I was okay with my choices. I was okay with enjoying what I enjoyed. I was okay with thinking the way that I thought. I was okay with being the way that I was. I was okay with it. She wasn't. Her choices clearly were not my choices. And weird was used in a pejorative sense. And now, in the political realm, it's being used as a cudgel. One side against the other. And weird is the term that's being levied. I don't like that at all. Not one part of me. And I've had people try to explain away my feelings or what I should feel or how I should feel. But it isn't about the definition of the word. It's about the intent. That bothers me. That really bothers me. Call them what they are for sure. Whatever you believe they are. Call Label them however you see fit. That's fine. But when you use... That label, that specific label, that's where I feel like more appropriate labels could be used. Now, how people perceive that is different because apparently the label is working in one party's favor versus the other. No one wants to be called weird. Some of us don't mind it. But in the grand scheme of things, that's only... Making my point for me. No one wants to be called weird. And I came to terms with that. Oh God, so long ago. Four lifetimes ago, it feels like. It just doesn't sit well with me to use that label. 
against somebody knowing full well that you are trying to hurt them one way or another, politically, perceivably, personally. It just, it bothers me. It really, it just, it bothers me. I am bothered. And probably even more bothered by the people who have tried to explain away what it is that I feel. Well, you know, there's a difference between cool, weird, and not cool, weird. No, never has it been used in, 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 in the framing of cool, ever. Like, if it was, Weird Al Yankovic, <laughs> I don't think he, he would have worked. Because he would have been cool. And he's never been that way, but that's what made him cool. For some of us, right? He ran counter to the narrative. Weird is counter to the narrative. And when you're using that label because you're, you know, forcing that upon somebody who doesn't see themselves that way, and you're basically tearing them down. I'm trying to get pictures of the Rancor here, but I'm distracted by the sound of that bird. Is that a bird? It's definitely not a Rancor. I mean, this is obviously a Rancor, but whatever the hell's making that sound, not a Rancor. How did I not know that this existed until this morning? When apparently they announced they, the infamous they, the Star Wars people announced that there were a whole bunch of new Dorables that would soon be available, including this one. So I got it, of course, because there's a there's a tiny Vader inside. We're watching Saturday morning cartoons because it's Saturday morning, and this is what's on. Sorry, nothing else on the internet except for Saturday morning cartoons. I don't remember watching Brave Star though. I almost screwed this up. Started pouring the cereal into this bowl with a spoon in it, realizing that I should have been using a, a fun bowl with a fun spoon instead. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to pour more cereal than that, naturally. Took a run down south to get into a few stores I don't normally have access to. It was a bust. I would say that it was a waste of time, but it wasn't because the universe put someone in my path. He recognized me and then uh, came to find me again. I must have walked past him quickly. He and his wife, and he asked, hey, are you Chris Perillo? I'm like, yeah, I am. It's pretty funny. And uh, so I, I am Chris Perillo, still, very much so, yes. And uh, will be for the rest of my life. And so I met him and then his wife. So everything happens for a reason. I, I, I potentially, I, I wouldn't say changed his life, but certainly impacted it. Gave him a memory, and me too. I'm not returning home empty-handed. Found this dog toy for Rocket. Yoda's head should be squeaking. Wait, where'd the squeaker go? Maybe it's in the pumpkin butt. See? It really happened! I have proof! By way of this YouTube comment that came in. Huh? It was Jeff! Gonna make a few more stormtroopers, because that's what I do. Not to cause any concern, but this is what I printed last night. A cause Darth Vader figurine. I don't think they ever made a licensed one of these figures available, but I figured to get it. I figured heh, a dichromatic black and red filament would work perfectly, and indeed it does. I found some space on this shelf that is perfect because now it's less dusty. It's actually the same amount of dust. It's just that... You can't see the dust because you're staring at the new print. This is probably one of the biggest reasons that you might want to get into 3D printing if you hadn't considered it, because you could make things that would otherwise never be available, but you wanted them. You understand that you have real toys, right? Because this was the rope that allowed us to carry the Chewbacca toy holder around. This was not a toy itself. Ooh.